Hey folks, Joko here. Joko here. <laughs> uh, I'm from ieltstemple.blogspot.com. Also from um, Edulink and various other places. Uh, I'm not representing any of them here, but last night uh, this uh, Chetna uh, was so good to uh, present an essay for me to look at on my Thursday night live show. But I think I got too drunk or something. I, I didn't do a very good job. So I've come back to look at it a second time and give a more reasoned, measured response. <clears throat> the question we have today is, some people say that parents should encourage their children to take part in organizing activities every time. Others say that it is important for children to learn how to act well. Hmm. Hmm. What do I think? Oh, look, there's me. Hi. Yeah, um, but this isn't about me. It's about the question. And if we look at it, let's ask ourselves the basic questions we need to ask when presented with a task two. Who? Where? What? What are they doing? What are the two views in this case? And so let's look closer at that. This is the first group. They're the ones who are encouraging the children to take part in organized group activities. Group act Organized group activities, they mean things like sports. Why is it important? That's what they're going to tell us, right? The children learn how to occupy themselves. So you got two views about what children should do. Okay. Discuss both these views. Give your own opinion. I put this part in because, remember, this is part of every task too. Mer. Give reasons for your answers and include any relevant examples from your own knowledge or experience. Every task two will have those instructions. And they don't put them in there for no reason. I want to echo what the you know the, the patron of this board talks about all the time and you gotta give examples. Raphael says this. And he's right. Next slide. Ah, okay, so here's the bulk of the essay. different views about whether children should participate in group activities or should they be free to do activities attitude when working in a group. <clears throat> right. Okay. Again, it's not about me. All right. So uh, you're starting off your essay with a general statement here about people having different views about whether children should participate. In group. Okay. Now, one thing about parallel structures. When you've got two parts of a sentence where, okay, children, children is the subject, should participate. Okay, children should participate. Or should. You don't need to repeat this should because the subject is the same. And also, you don't need they because they is the children. If the um, subject is the same in both halves of the sentence, you don't need to repeat it. It's bad form to do so. And you don't need to repeat any modal verbs like should. So this would read much cleaner as people have different views about whether children should participate in group activities or be free to do activities so that's, you don't need that. It just makes it more clunky. Uh, be free to do activities uh, which interest them during their leisure time. Okay, and then this is sort of a standard thing that IELTS essay writers do. They gotta, they gotta, I guess it's good you put your complex sentence in here. You know, while choosing their favorite activities independently can boost the child's confidence, I believe children should take up group activities more. Well, now, choosing, choosing to do are two different things. And children should be, should learn how to occupy themselves. So, Gee, my favorite activity is to do this. So that's what there's that that's the choosing. What you want is well choosing to do their favorite activities 
independently, unless they're video games, they can't choose those, can boost the child's confidence. See, don't give any reasons here. Don't, don't explain it. In your, in your introduction, just say, well, you know, while um, choosing to do their favorite activities can, uh, you know, can benefit the child, I believe children should take up group activities more. More than what? More than now? More than they do currently? Or more than... Anyway, it's a little bit confusing. When something is confusing, I put it in blue. Oh, I never explained. Task response. The reason this is pink, okay, is because it's about the question. The question is about children choosing to do, not just choosing. So you've kind of misunderstood the question there, or misexpressed it. C and C. Cohesion. Do the, do the word ideas connect together? And coherence. When something becomes confusing, it's incoherent, and therefore falls into that category. Lexical is vocabulary. Grammar is range and accuracy of your grammar. Body paragraph one. On the one hand, organized group activities will help a child to socialize with other children. You see, you're, you're explaining the, um, yourself in the topic sentence. You really need to begin. It says this. It's not my opinion. It says it in the, in the cohesion and coherence. Begin each sentence with a topic sentence. So I would expect everything in this to be about children uh, uh, will help them, help them socialize. No, it's not. You need to find a different one. Okay, because you, you bring up something different in the second part of the paragraph. Now, um, on the one hand, uh, there are advantages to children choosing their own activities. There are several. There are two main advantages. I know it's not an advantage, disadvantage, but advantage would be one of the reasons why some people hold this view. Huh. And, uh, and will open up with the society. That is not a clear collocation. I don't, I don't know what that means. And will become more social. Okay. For instance, you jump right into your example after making your point. And that's not good form. Save the example for the last part. Family get-togethers are not organized group activities. Family get-togethers happen without any true organization. They're talking about like sports, and children playing games and doing things like playing music in a band or something like that. They're, they're not talking about family get-togethers. Now, Will, I made this green because if you look at this paragraph, on the one hand, will help. They will learn. They will open up. Will be a good... Uh, children will learn. Uh, will enter. Will learn. Uh, three? Seven? Seven? Is it, anyway, it's too many. Grammar range. You use will in every sentence in this paragraph. Your grammar range, even if it's accurate, will not benefit from that. Okay. Moreover. No, 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 moreover. Why moreover? Moreover means that the thing that comes next is more important than the thing before it. Children will learn a lot during team building activities. Such as, what do you mean? Oh, oh, look, such as competing with other kids. Doing what? And then it just goes off here. And then handling the peer pressure, which is going to help them in their near future. What? What does that have to do with team building activities? And it's just a comma. There's very, very poor um, grammar and sentence construction. And you... They start to talk about their jobs, jo their children. Oh, I remember this from last night. <laughs> I went off on this. <clears throat> okay. And then, so you got two different topics here in one paragraph. 
And then, if that wasn't enough, you're going to bring up a third one. Also, children will learn how to keep a right attitude. What does that mean? I don't understand. Uh, when working in a group. All right, so how do they do that? All right. Next paragraph. Body paragraph two. Children should be allowed to choose their favorite activities in free time. These days, kids face an immense pressure of exams participating in extracurricular activities leading to getting less time to play with okay, other than children should be allowed now you told us what your opinion is in, in body paragraph one I believe children should take up group activities more okay um, in, in if you if you have an opinion then you need to you should probably express the opposing opinion the one you disagree with first and then do the one that you agree with because what are you doing here in this one, on the one hand, on the other hand, children should be allowed to choose their favorite activities in free time. You just disagreed with yourself. You said that they should participate in group activities. But now you're saying they should choose. So, this is an example of not maintaining a clear position throughout the essay. And then we have this. These days, kids face an immense pressure. Face the... Okay, they do. Kids, children. They're not teenagers, they're kids. Uh, face, no, no, no. And then we have a comma splice here. This, uh, these days, kids, uh, comma, participant leading to getting less. What? This, uh, the grammar here just makes no sense. In such situations, what situations? Children should know how to invest their time in the right way. Don't need the here. Freedom of thought will make children take up challenges and responsibilities. Huh. Yes, that's great. Okay, yes. Children should be able to take up challenges and responsibilities. I like that. Yeah, okay. Right. Particularly since they're under that hardcore pressure of being in the fourth grade and those exams that are coming up. Oh, but, but wait a minute. No, 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 no. That said, no, they should be supervised by an adult to make sure they do not choose wrong things to do since they are more inclined to play video games and surfing over the internet. That's 19... Hello, 1999. Uh, surf. Due to advancement in technology. Is it a requirement that every essay must have a mention of the advancement of technology in it somewhere? Is that what they taught you? It's wrong. In conclusion, while independent thoughts and activities are helpful for children in today's world, I believe group activities will ripe, reap, not ripe, reap more benefits to them as they learn the importance of being a team player in their future endeavors. Well, I think you need to pay more attention to writing coherent sentences that don't repeat the same structures, will, 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 will. Don't have commas that just connect to sort of random pieces. Okay? Your grammar is lacking. Um, and the words that you're choosing, future endeavors, that is good collocation, and you put it in at the end because you knew it and you got to figure out some way to put it in there advancement in technology what what is what is video game you contradict yourself in the first part of this paragraph with what you already said and then you contradict the first part of this paragraph in the second part of the paragraph so um task response um Why is it important for children to occupy themselves? Eh, there's a little bit of that in there. Okay. Uh, why should parents encourage them to organize group activities? Well, you didn't understand what group activities were. So I'm thinking like, you know, six. Coherence and cohesion, five. Lexical resource. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. You're um, not where you want to be quite yet. Good luck.